Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to create connection between two tables in AppSheet using reference. When you have multiple tables in your AppSheet, it's useful to create references or connections between the tables. If not, only helps you represent relationships between the tables. It also allows you to navigate from one row to another and easily retrieve information from a related row in another table. You can add a reference as follows. Ensure your worksheet has a column to contain the reference. You can click on the above link and check out our how to add AppSheet feature to your app to know the process of beginning with AppSheet. If you needed to add a new worksheet column to contain the reference, go to the columns pan panel in data. Show the table schema and select the column you wish to make a reference. A pop-up will open. Select the table name that you want to be a reference table. Please note the type reference acts as a bridge to build relationship with other table. Once done, click on OK to continue. Now click on Save and Sync to update the changes. Click on App Sheet to go back to Manage Sheets section. Now click on Edit icon to update the table that you have referred. Here select the key column for your table as per your needs and click on Save and Sync. The column for which you enable the key option will be referred to the particular sheet. Under number of relationships, you will see a relationship has been created. The number here shows that this particular table has been linked to the much number of tables. You can click on the number to see which table it is referred to. Click on it. A pop-up relationship table will appear. Here you can see the table name, number of relationships within the table and the relationship that you have created, along with the referred table, referred column, and display name. Click on your refer table. You can see which column has been referred here. Once you are done, go back to manage sheets, close the app sheet window and click on save and continue to finish making changes to your app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.